It's day 101 and today I'm grateful that I am happy. And on day 83, I was grateful for, for being able to choose to be happy. And today, I didn't have to choose. I just was happy. I've just been feeling happy and I'm grateful for that. It's making me think about how if you have to choose to be happy when you're really feeling sad. It really makes me wonder. I watched the first 30 seconds of day 83 and um, it's like seven minutes and 30 seconds. And I could see on my face that I, I was choosing to be happy. But today is different. I'm not, I'm not choosing to be happy. I just am. And I think that's really freaking awesome. As for why I'm happy, I'm happy because I'm being honest with myself having fun and this could all be temporary tomorrow something could happen or I don't know. you watch in a week I'm gonna be like okay I'm choosing to be happy again <laughs> but I don't like to usually offer advice, but this advice is pretty universal. Be honest with yourself. And I think that's the hardest thing we can actually do sometimes. Because people, other people can sometimes be more honest to us than we are to ourselves. But even then, ah, even then, I, I want to almost take back any kind of advice because, I don't know, just getting advice online bugs me. Like, I mean, I still look up, oh, how can I fix this? Or how can I feel better about this? Or, you know, I still look up advice myself, but and then again, I'm a stickler for credibility. I've got to get advice from a reputable source and all that fun stuff. <laughs> but, yeah. So, for my friends that do, for my friends, my viewers, for y'all, if you are not happy, Maybe you're lying to yourself about something. And it's, you know, I forget where I, this quote comes from. So if you remember, um, or if I remember and I find it, I'll, I'll put it in the description. But usually the thing that we are most afraid of is the one thing that we need to do. I know that's not word for word what the quote is, and that that's mainly in when it comes to having to make a hard choice that you know could make your life better, or and probably would, but it requires you to make a choice that you that's hard. Being decisive when you're in your 20s <laughs> is a wonderful skill. 
If you can be decisive. I guess I'm just saying that because I'm just so indecisive. So, anyway, I think that's probably enough for today. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching. And I challenge you to give this practice a shot. Being grateful for something every day. Write it down or tweet it or text it to yourself or email it or do a photo, take a photo of something that you're grateful for or, a, or do a video and talk about it. However you want to do it. If you're sad, look at what you're grateful for. And it should help. At least a little bit. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and comment about one thing you're grateful for. I'm challenging y'all now. <laughs> okay, toodles.